Yes, sir. PFG family, man, we are back with another banger, bruh. Like always, on the way into the video, go ahead and smack that like button. You know, just showing a little love to the channel. And if you are new here, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as we are on the grind to hit 10,000 subscribers by January 1st of next year. I know it may look a little crazy right now, but I know for a fact we're going to end up hitting that 10K. So you might as well just go ahead and smack that subscribe button and join the family, bruh. Now, let's go ahead and get straight to it man today we have a lot to do a lot of simple stuff so i wanted to be comfortable so we have on the um just a quick outfit check we have on the two-tone uh nike air force ones along with the um nike uh tech fit joggers and then just a simple black tee um also you see the fro is crispy as always and that uh lineup on the beard you know i got a little bit of that beijing in there you know hey hey bro you can say what you want about beijing that shit look good on me so <laughs> so yeah man we finna go ahead and head out um as you can see we are still at the hotel bro and this may be our residence for a little bit but also i've been thinking man we making a little bit well not a little bit we making a lot of money right now i may look into purchasing you know a house down here for the meantime since you know we kind of got issues in la so um let's go ahead and get straight to it now looking down at the map you see a purple dot now i know you guys are wondering what the hell that is well that is actually our employee bro he actually stays here at the hotel and you see buddy is strapped to a t ready for anything and that is exactly how we like it um i was literally just chilling smoking in the car bro and, and buddy must have smelled the smoke because he came over and long story short, after talking to him for a bit, I asked him if he wanted to make some money. He said, hell yeah. So I went ahead and put him on a team. Um, I gave him, you know, a couple a couple thousand dollars to, for starters. And I'm actually on the way to our stash house right now to go ahead and fill buddy up. So what I mean by fill him up is I'm going to go ahead and front on some drugs. So basically now it is official, guys. I am my own plug. Um, I've been putting in so much work for Z. That he actually allowed me to become my own plug, bro. So, hey, man, we like I said, bro, we came down here and we are on kingpin status, bro. It may not look like it because of the 2000, the 2007 uh, BMW, bro, but we are on kingpin status down here. So, yeah, man, let's go ahead and get straight to it. Um, as you can tell, I went ahead and fired up some of that good smoke on the way to the uh, the stash house. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get. Um, probably just a couple bricks like I said being that we're down in sandy shores We don't really touch any weed at all because the people down here really just don't fool with weed So we'll just be wasting our time. So so yeah, bro, we're on our way there Um, also we have two other stops to make during this episode Um, I know it may I know it may be uh oh, let me see. Okay. I know it may be unbelievable y'all but since we've been down here trapping we actually do not have a single firearm we don't have a gun and the reason being is because i got rid of all the guns before i left la um y'all know we put in at work and we ended up knocking down a few police officers as well as a few you know uh, rival gang members so if we get caught with that gun bro we are done for so that's why i went ahead and got rid of all of our firearms but like i said i mean most of the people down here i don't really have too many ops i just have a few other um dealers that you know they're just making their money but they just minding their business making their money just like i am so i haven't had any issues but i definitely definitely want to go ahead and protect myself um i honestly don't think that the police know that it was me that you know laid a few of their fellow um officers down so we had our mask on so we should be good bro so um after we go ahead and leave the stash spot real quick i'm gonna go ahead and stop over at this local gun store and see what they have bro i really want to get like a something you know something i can conceal not no ar or anything like that because i mean i just feel like that's that's overdoing it for you know this area that's probably a little bit overdoing it um so yeah i think we probably just grab a pistol or something like that we'll see what they have though but yes sir we are actually pulling up um i guess i'll just park here again let me go ahead and put that uh reefer out okay yeah, so we got the reefer put out we'll go ahead and lock the car um i'm gonna just hop the fence normally i would just go through the front but i'm not really trying to talk to buddy oh i guess the fence opens i think somebody commented that down below uh in the last video so i appreciate you brody i did not know bruh <laughs> i was trying to play it off i did not know that bitch open but yeah y'all we finna go ahead and run inside the stash um i'm gonna grab a couple bricks for for buddy um i may even just empty the stash for real i may just empty it out and just give him half 
and allow him to uh you know basically earn my respect and you know do some trapping and i do some trapping myself so i'm finna run in real quick i'll be right back with y'all all right guys so we went in and you can see the baggie bro or not the baggie the, the duffel bag um we went ahead and filled that bad boy up with some bricks so we are gonna go ahead and head back over to the hotel and meet with buddy um and go ahead and load them up man hopefully you know this this may be a sign of things to come like this could literally take us to a new level um i'm basically how i look at things i thought i locked the car I could have sworn I locked it, but how I look at things now, bro, I, I feel like my time is way more important than my money. So if I can actually have an employee out here, like, you know, basically taking a risk, to be honest, taking all the risk by doing these hand to hand transactions, making the money. And I can just, you know, basically be like Z does me and just pull up and plug them. Meanwhile, I can be out working on my trucking company because that is still a goal for us, guys. I know the haters blew up the truck. Damn near killed me uh but I, that's that is still a goal guys to get the trucking company and the reason being is because we need some um some legitimate cash like we can't just go buy these businesses and in in houses and cribs and cars with no you know no legitimate cash guys so we will definitely uh start that trucking company again um so yeah if i can have them out you know beating the streets up while i'm out you know doing the trucking then you know that'll work out perfect that's basically two streams of income for us so we are about to run in really quick and see what type of inventory they have. Let's see, like I said, I want a pistol. Um, I mean, they got all type of stuff in here for real, but that stuff, like I said, just seems like kind of overkill. So let's go ahead and check and see. And I think this is the one I want. That is the one that we actually already have. But this baby right here, bro, look at that. As a matter of fact, yeah, this is the one they asking um $3,750 for it. Let's go ahead and get it closer. I'm, I'm gonna buy this one. We'll go ahead and buy it and look at that, bruh. Look at the bruh, come on man. Look at the detail on it. That Springfield, bruh. That bitch is beautiful. Now I know there are a few um a few attachments we can add to it, like we can get the extended clip. And that kind of make the gun look a little ugly. I'm not even gonna cap, bruh. That extended clip. I like it just like that. We can get a flashlight on there, which may actually be very, very beneficial since we out here in the desert at night all the damn time by ourselves. Uh, but I'll probably just wait on that. Or we can get a suppressor, which, you know, being that, like I said, we out here in the desert, that that's literally pointless. Um, or we can get like a wood finish. But nah, bro, I, I think we're just going to stick with it just like this, bro. That thing is beautiful. Um, we'll go ahead and buy some more rounds for it. Um. Uh, yeah that'll go ahead and be enough rounds all right guys so we got our pistol um now just yeah okay go ahead and hop back in the car when i'm paranoid i don't park i back in <laughs> no i'm playing but uh yeah so we finna go ahead and head back over to buddy um to be honest man i've never had an employee so i really don't know what's gonna happen when we try to give buddy these bricks so hey man we in this bitch y'all gonna see what y'all gonna see what happens just like i am i don't know buddy you gonna run off he might try to hit me over the head but i mean he black i'm black we out here by ourselves basically like i said he's literally one of the only black dudes that i've seen out here so i he must be trustworthy <laughs> i must be able to trust him but uh we definitely gonna see man i hope you know i hope he's a man of his word like like bro i'm definitely a man of my word i, I believe i'm a stand-up individual so i mean hopefully we can get that same thing back as a matter of fact i don't know what the hell happened to our speedometer i'm pretty sure i don't know if i it may have been i don't know i'm pretty sure it was on here when we started the video if i'm tripping my bad but i know i added it in the game so um guys basically a lot of these mods are like old um and the game gets these updates so a lot of them can hold on okay i'm not sure yeah there's the police behind us uh so we're just gonna speed up a slight bit um but yeah a lot of these mods are actually old so when i put them in my game sometimes they be acting up so um i tried to change the speedometer um i'm gonna go ahead and add that back in i'm not sure what happened to it as well as the uh the gas where we have to stop and get gas i'm gonna add that back back in there and a few other scripts you know to make it more realistic bro i'm, I'm really enjoying it i hope you guys are as well so we're not too far we're about a little bit under a mile away from buddy we're gonna go ahead and plug him um i think he can actually ride with oh shit 
past that RV at the wrong time. I think he can actually ride with this and and do a lot of stuff. We definitely gonna see. We gonna experiment with it a little bit. Cause like I said, I'm just now, you know, this is my first employee. So we gonna see what he's down to do and get straight to it. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, guys. Um, I said we had two stops to make, so we went ahead and made the first one. Um, and that was picking up our gun. Where's buddy at? Oh, you over there? Okay, cool. Yeah, right where you should be. Cause I don't want to be on Front Street. I just need you to move out the way a little bit. Let me slide by you. Okay. Right, we'll park here and go talk to Buddy. That nigga got that shotgun, that pump action. Look, he look like a killer, dog. Okay. Let me see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, he can follow us. Okay. Um, we can give him a weapon. All I got is my gun, so I'm not much of help. But he got a bigger gun than me, so he should be cool. Uh, we can collect from him. Uh, Diller has 7, 50, 20% cut. Collect. Oh, well, shit. I guess he already got us some money. He got 5,800 basically for us, but we're not going to collect, man. We. We're not into that 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 small change. Um, so let's go ahead and see. Right now we got, we'll go ahead and give him half. Oh no, we don't we don't rock weed. I'm not even sure how we got weed, but let's go ahead and plug buddy with um with some crack. I'll start him off with like, I'll start him off with four ounces of crack, three grams, and we'll give him some coke as well. Bro, I just thought about this. <laughs> I stay in an apartment, bro. It's hella late, man. <laughs> My neighbors probably think I'm like fucking big meat. I just literally thought about that. Cause she be looking at me sometime when I be going out to work or whatever. She probably, <laughs> that's crazy. But anyways, uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and start off by giving buddy four ounces of crack, three grams um, as well. We ain't even gonna say the grams. That just kind of sound weird. We'll give him three, uh, three ounces of Coke as well. So we'll go ahead and give him that. So he has that. Um, I would have him follow us, but I kind of want to see what he does on his own this first episode. So yeah, we'll go ahead and leave, bro. We went ahead and plugged, buddy. Um, let's see how much we got. Okay, so on us, we got 27 ounces of crack. We could have gave buddy more though, but I don't really know that nigga. Cause we got quite a bit on us, but I really, I don't know where this weed came from. I don't know where it came from. Maybe it's when we bought the weed, I don't know. Anyways, so look, y'all, I'm finna actually run inside and take this, uh, take this bag off. And then we have, I think, as a matter of fact, I think what we'll do first, we'll probably do some trapping and then we'll go to our second stop. I know I didn't say that like four times and still ain't told you what the second stop was. Uh, guys, we, oh, is he finna make a sale? We making a sale, buddy. I didn't know. Listen, listen, y'all. Hey, we in this bitch together. I didn't know they actually be making sales. I thought we just disappear and come back and he got some money. I didn't know they actually make sales. Like we be making sales. So that is dope. But anyways, like I said, y'all, um, I'm all over the place. I apologize. But yeah, I'm finna run inside. Oh, there go another black dude. That nigga look just like Slim Thug. But yeah, um, <laughs> man, let me say what I'm gonna say, bro. I keep getting distracted. So yeah, y'all, my fault, y'all. Y'all gotta bear with. Oh, they go. No, I'm just fucking with you. But yeah, um, so yeah, we finna drop the bag off. Um, and then we gonna go sometime during this episode, we gonna go look at the semi truck. Now, listen, bro, we making bank now. We on kingpin status. Now I know when I say kingpin status, you think like 10 million, 50 million, 100 million. I'm talking about kingpin status for Sandy Sure Sandy Shores, not LA. So if you get caught with, you know, 10 grams of crack in Sandy Shores, they're going to fucking hang your ass. Not like they would in L.A. So that's why I mean by kingpin status. We kind of small time compared to L.A. But anyways, we're going to go look at this semi truck and his trailer. Uh, buddy is selling it. I want to go see how much he's asking for. Um, if we can afford it, bro, I'm definitely going to try to go ahead and buy that bitch. That way we can get back in our trucking, you know, our trucking phase and start building an empire. So I'm going to run inside and drop this bag off real quick. We'll do some trapping or maybe go look at the truck first. And yes, sir, we'll go ahead and wrap this episode up. So let me go ahead and run inside real quick. All right, guys. So we went ahead and got um, got the bag dropped off inside. I went ahead and took my shirt off. Um, I'm not even gonna lie, it was just to flex. I seen myself in that wife beater, the muscle. Look at the muscles on me, bro. I'm 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 kind of burly out here. I'm kind of ripped. So, yeah, man, we went ahead and took the shirt off. Um, we finna hop in a car real quick and um and do some trapping real quick, bro. Let's go ahead and hop in. Um, I think I kind of want to go to a town over. I really don't like to do trapping, you know, so close to home. 
Um, so let oh, okay, see, yeah, bro. I wasn't tripping. There go the damn um the uh speedometer. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm sure somebody gonna tell me in the comment section. Y'all be on my head, but yeah, so we are right here. Um, I think it's safe if we go over. I mean, so I seen somebody comment on the last video. Uh, they asked what these red dots are. Uh, that is basically a rival dealer. Uh, that's one of their vehicles. So, you know, if we wanted to get on some savage shit, savage shit, we can tell them or I guess follow them or whatever. And, uh, and, and basically take everything they got, including their life. So being that, you know, the peace being cool here, ain't nobody tripping with me. I'm not tripping with nobody. I feel like we should kind of just leave them alone and you know just go about our business so with that being said um i'm gonna go ahead and travel over to this town here and set up shop and do some trapping bro uh i still got that two hundred thousand uh at the stash house and on me i got thirty two thousand. so two hundred thirty two thousand isn't bad i'm not sure how much buddy is asking for the uh the semi truck but hopefully I'm, I'm quite sure we can afford it oh they're gonna police let me slow down they don't really be tripping out here since it is the desert it's just kind of like you know being like in the like the western part of town or some shit like that like the old western movies you know anything flies for the most part so hopefully we don't have too much trouble from from the police but uh but yeah guys um hopefully they're not asking too much for the truck that way because what i really want to do i want to get some contracts like with these car dealerships i know they're open up a opening up a new Kia dealership, so I wanna, you know, possibly go by and see if we can get a contract with them to do like some deliveries uh, for them, cause that'll be dope, and I know it pays a lot. Uh, that way we can, you know, get at it. Oh, almost wrecked. Why they always be stopping randomly, bruh? Damn. Now you wanna go? But yeah, if we can, um, yeah, buddy tripping. If we can get a dealership. Uh, get like a contract with a dealership, bro. That's gonna bring in bank, like, and it's a consistent cash flow. Like, consistency is key in just about every aspect of life. So, if we can get that consistent cash flow plus the trapping, plus the um, the you know, whatever else we get involved in, bro, we're gonna be making bank and we can finally start working our way towards you know, that mansion, that that Lamborghini, the the Versace. Well, we already got a little bit of Versace, but not you know everybody got a little bit of versace and, and you know polo and stuff like that but ain't nobody got the whole collection in real life so we can actually start working our way up towards that um i think it's shit, i think the sun is going down i can't tell if it's morning or freaking i'm finna pass buddy you can pass if it ain't no uh no uh full line what's well, not full line what is it uh like y'all see the double line right there if it's y'all know anyways <laughs> but uh oh damn i don't know where i'm at I thought it was gonna be some some stores or something over here. Let's bust a U-turn. Oh wait, yeah, I ain't trying to go on a land. But yeah, if we can get that contract, bro, we'll be set. Start looking at houses. Start, you know, damn, look at the cops. Them niggas going slow as hell. Start looking at houses. Start looking at purchasing other properties and and renting them out and real estate. Just all type of stuff, you know. Really, just just start grinding, bro. Start making this money. Um, and I'm pretty sure it is about to be nighttime, bro. So we're going to be doing some trapping at night. Uh, I'm not sure how long we're going to do, you know, trapping. Being that we got our guy actually out there working for us, we don't really have to go that hard, bro. I mean, we're not going to, you know, take no days off. But but we we ain't really got to go crazy like like we would before. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing no stores. I ain't never really been on this side of town. So I think what I'll do is actually pull over and let z know that i am actually available to make some calls and if he give us some calls bruh then we should oh okay i think this is the town coming up right here yeah okay so yeah we'll probably park up here at this gas station I'm, let me go ahead and call z and let him know we are available to make some moves bruh i'm finna back off in here stay ducked off i got my headlights off yeah, we'll go ahead and call z we got a little bit of weed, but not really enough. So we ain't even gonna waste our time with that. So today we'll be selling some, or I guess tonight we'll be selling some crack and some cocaine. So I'm thinking we should probably get out of the car. Oh, my headlights come on, let me turn them bad boys off. Yeah, we should probably, I don't know. I think this one is probably gonna be, this town is probably gonna be more so a lot of deliveries as opposed to uh you know people coming up to us because there's not that many people here bro we may not even be able to do no trapping if don't nobody come 
let's just walk around I guess I think buddy right here with his shirt off I bet you he finna try to cop we probably go inside the store and grab a little something I bet you he finna try to cop he might be nah okay we got one we got yeah it's gonna be a slow episode guys look i try to keep it keep it realistic man just like real life not every day you're gonna make 100k 200k 50k some days you may make 25 dollars you know so we're gonna see what she trying to cop oh this is an old lady a old ho <laughs> let's see she won't she won't one gram of cocaine bro she want one gram of cocaine bro Okay, someone else is selling. Um, hey, thought you might like to know someone else is selling in our area. So what we can actually go ahead and do, um, I'm not even sure if that's a vehicle. Okay, so being that this episode seems to be pretty slow, what I think we'll go ahead and do is see if we can actually add Buddy in on our team, one of the rival dealers. Um, we finna go ahead and see if the, if, if he want to join the team like uh, like the other the black dude did. Hopefully this dude black too. <laughs> we can start a whole little, <laughs> whole little organization. <laughs> but yeah, let's see, man. Let me go ahead and head over there because we definitely wasn't getting no calls, and we only made a few dollars right there. All right, guys. So we are finally pulling up on the rival dealer. Uh, I'm gonna approach him and see if he's willing to join the team. Um, I'm sure he's gonna want. You know some sort of cash out of it um i don't have too much on me and i'm not sure how much i'd even be willing to pay him but i'm gonna go ahead and see what buddy's talking about um hopefully it don't go left if it does i really don't oh it's a girl and she looked pregnant wait yeah we're gonna see what she's talking about i might even rob her ass for real he want two grams of uh coke we'll go ahead and sell to him real quick that got us 800 dollars. yeah we kind of wasting our time with this shit, bro uh-oh uh-oh i think buddy got an issue oh no he don't okay but well, that got us eighteen hundred dollars let's see what she talk about y'all oh oh bro i'm out of here niggas is shooting i don't even oh i'm gonna die nigga. oh go 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 i don't know why you running like that oh bro hell no, i ain't gonna be no hoe mm, what's happening mm, mm, mm. i should go stand over but we ain't got no health dog I should go stand over. Okay, yeah, she's done for, but it looked like it's some more. Okay. I think this shit was a setup, bruh. This shit had to be a setup. Where you go? I should hop in a dumpster on their ass. Okay, they're coming around the building. Uh, and guys, I am actually finna change the time real quick because as you can see, the sky start tripping. So let me go ahead and change the time. I had that fixed next time. I don't know why we'll do midday. Oh, damn, that shit bright as hell. Oh, there they go. Bro, we gotta get about it. Look, they hit me up like four times. This thing is calling me for drops. These things trying to kill me. Oh, I think I think she dropped. Let me see. Why is there another dot? I'm finna murder her ass. <clears throat> What's happening? Lay her down. Go stand over. Go stand over and do her dirty. <clears throat> Give me your bag, ho. Yes, sir. Get up out of here. Oh shit, the cops is right there. I don't know why we running like that. Get in the car, nigga. Oh, sheesh, bruh. I am up out of here. See, this is what I'm talking about, bruh. You never know. You never know, dog. The good thing about... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The good thing about being out here is... Oh, shit. I was finna say is the rose is so... Oh, oh, oh. Go, go, go. Oh, the enemies is on me. The enemies and the police, bruh. These niggas is crazy. Oh, I am out of here. I'm trying to make sure they don't spawn in front of me. And we over here by the prison, I think. Bruh, what the hell? How do you how do you shake these niggas? We almost died, bruh. We almost died. Oh, we going towards the prison. Let me see if I can hop on the... I don't want to hop on the highway. Let me see if I... Okay, we might be good right here, y'all. This shit crazy, dog. Think it's really blue. Bro, look at the car! 
really blew down on me. They on their way. I'm hoping I can. Bro, we just finna have to hop on the freeway. Okay, okay. We shook the cops, bro. I don't know what the hell just happened. Like, I literally, I, I ain't even get a chance to really ask her if she wanted to be on the team. She just up the, bro. What the fudge? Okay, um, I, I don't even know what to do, bro. That is definitely, I mean, it didn't, oh, we can't go too close to the jail because we're going to get, bro. I don't know what to do, dog. What is, okay, okay, okay. Let me see if I can cross over on the highway real quick, bro, and get back home. That shit is crazy. Um, this is the house. We finna try to go ahead and make it back to the house, bro. I, I'm the car, as you can see, is done for. I'm gonna have to get that fixed, and I definitely need to go ahead and 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 heal myself, like and change clothes. Like that's definitely the last time that I will ever approach a damn rival dealer. From now on, I promise you, I'm just gunning them down. Like I, I bro, I'm literally speechless, bro. I'm finna go ahead and head back to the house, y'all. I'll meet y'all there. All right, guys. So we finally made it to the house, bro. I had to come. I had to get changed, clean myself up, and as you can see, hit some of that strong reefer, bro. That shit was crazy. Like I literally cannot even tell you what happened. Like I, I don't recall like what was going on. I know we was finna ask her to join the team, and she just. I, I think she the one that shot us. Or maybe somebody else pulled. I don't even remember, bro. But why is buddy look i'm paranoid and shit i don't know what's going on bro but we went ahead and got changed um man i might as well go ahead and show y'all the damage this shit's probably gonna take like at least maybe like five thousand dollars to get fixed uh the car um so we'll go ahead and take a look at that um i still want to go ahead and, and and go by and take a look at the trailer like all this shit was unexpected bro like this shit is crazy dog um I don't even know. I'm so high. You can't. You can barely see. You can see the roof is dented in. The damn windows is shattered. The it's it's crazy because it's like when things be going. It's like life is all about balance, bro. When everything is going good, man, you can kind of keep your eye over your shoulder because something bad is definitely gonna happen, bro. So what we are actually about to do, um, I guess I can probably stop smoking now, now that I didn't calm down. Um, we finna go ahead and call Z because we definitely cannot take our car. Um, we gonna go ahead and call Z um, and see if he can take us to go look at this truck really quick. So we'll wait for him to pull up. I think that may actually be him up the street. Yeah, that's him coming up the street. But yeah, we gonna see if he can take us to look at this truck really quick. Um, like I said, bro, I really want to get the trucking company up and going because we can definitely avoid situations like that, bro. Yeah, that's Buddy right here pulling. I don't know what the hell dude doing. Just park, bro. Just park. All right, man, we finna hop in with Z real quick. Damn, bro. Look, man. <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to make it with this dude's driving. I don't know. And we're going the wrong way. But, yeah, y'all, we finna go ahead and check out this truck. It ain't no telling how long this thing is going to take. So, I will just see you guys once we get there. All right, guys. So, we finally made it, bro. It feel like damn near the next day. That boy Z drives slow as hell. So, we have to get our car fixed ASAP. But, as you can see, this is actually the 18-wheeler that we're checking on. You know, we're trying to purchase this this bad boy they go buddy right there to selling it he kind of weird and he kind of stink that's why i'm kind of keeping my distance he seemed he's like one of them people that like when they talk to you they get real real close for no reason so i just told him i'm gonna check out the truck man just stay back but but yeah bro so it is actually a truck and trailer combo um i'm not sure i think the i think the truck is like a 2003 um it has quite a bit of miles on it but that is common for you know obviously an 18 wheeler um i think we'll probably go ahead and paint it maybe maybe like a white or a black or even red or maybe even blue i don't know but yeah we'll paint it um and then as far as the trailer um i was talking to him and he knows a guy that can um you know basically refresh and refine the trailer because when we go to these um you know these companies to see about getting these these contracts i don't want to look like you know we just basically just got like some junk i want our stuff to look brand new so if we do go ahead and buy the car or not the car the semi and the trailer he is actually asking for seventy five thousand, bruh seventy five thousand. we have two hundred and thirty thousand. 
Um, so he's actually asking for seventy five thousand um, to be honest, which is it's not actually that bad. Um, I'm going to see if I can talk him down some and then, you know, just basically get in the trailer fixed in the truck painted. That'll probably be an additional ten thousand Well, not fixed, but, you know, refined and redone. That'll probably be an additional ten thousand. Um, so I will go ahead and let you guys take a look. Um, like always, like I said, man, just go ahead and smack that subscribe button, hit that like button and let me know, comment down below if we should go ahead and take this truck and trailer or should we go ahead and get like a F-150 and then, you know, just get one of those single hauler uh, trailers. So go ahead and do me a favor. Let me know which one you guys want. Comment down below and I'm on to the next one.